Friday. It is Friday, all day. Man, I didn't think it would ever get here. <laughs> I think we had a couple of Mondays involved getting here for sure. No doubt. We might have actually skipped a Tuesday and Wednesday and just had three Mondays. Well, that looks good. Brand spanking new 2S with a hammered finish. I, I really like the um, texture on those. Would you believe that that's actually not a new box? Really? That is a year old box that has just been wiped down and that's the, that's the result of it. Wow. It just, it hides scratches. I mean, you're gonna see a big old dent or something like that, but it hides scratches so well. I mean, this box has clearly been used. I mean, you can see the, the liners ain't new, but I mean, that's what everybody said. How much is the new box? Well, that's not new, that's used. It looks um, good. That one's the same way. I mean, that one's been used, uh, and it looks almost brand new. While we're on the story of toolboxes, yeah. I'm going to admit that I made a mistake last week. All right. When you were talking about that cart that that distributor had done, Yeah. I guess I missed the meeting. Those things are everywhere. Like, I'm talking about Monday morning, everybody started getting them in and was posting pictures, and they're like, how did I miss it? The box is awesome. It's a cart. Yeah, it's it is cool. freaking awesome. I don't know how I missed it. I don't know how. I don't know. That's something Mako did. Um, so it, it, I don't know. I guess I just missed that meeting where they did. It's those. amazing that you can take a green box. Yeah. And put some wood grain vinyl on the front of it yep. and the Matco symbol and wood grain, and it's. Well, a lot of people's talking about how they're going. <laughs> put like dog leashes on it and stuff because you know it's got that uh have you seen the inside it's got that car from uh yeah uh what is it chevy chase uh the vacation vacation yeah yeah uh so it's it's a nice box i don't know how i missed it but yeah you, they've everybody's probably seen them by now i'm sure a couple people's <laughs> like how does he not know that that's out but it was cool it slipped by me but yep man that's hard to believe that's a used box because it's been, it, it definitely, that's why I like the hammer finish so well. And I mean, it's in a big truck stop too, so you know it, it I mean, it's had all kind of dust, dirt, tires leaned up on it, everything else. It just, it withstands it so well. Cool. But the tool what? we're showing this week, it's not brand new. Uh, we've had it for a while, but we're talking about the pencil grinder kit. Um, well, that's not to grind your pencils, guys. No. So you can have sharpened pencils. No. Um, it's... 5400 RPM, it weighs a whopping 1.2 pounds. Uh, the length of it is six inches of the actual grinder itself. Um, what we've been talking about all week is basically finishing work. Yeah. Uh, 5400 RPMs, you're not gonna go to cut and stuff, stuff like that. That's, I mean, obviously you can, but I don't see, you're not gonna put a cutting blade on there, I can tell you, because if that shatters, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. But we do have, I have a motorcycle shop. They had, they use these uh, when they're doing work on the heads and stuff, which now they're, they're, they go into detail. They've got a really steady hand and they'll actually go in and do, um, people that ride motorcycles have seen like Harleys and stuff to where they do the design work on the heads mm -hmm. on the outside. So they actually use it for that. Um, just a really nice tool small. So, it, I mean, tight spots, you're going to get in there. Um, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. It's mm -hmm. not something that every technician is going to need. I know a lot of times on here we show stuff that pretty much everybody can, can get their hands on and stuff like that. Your everyday technician is not going to need this, but your specialty will. Um, yeah. So we just chose that to show um, this week just because sometimes the people that have almost everything need love too, right? Um, yeah. When, you, when you've been into it for 10, 15 years, you've probably got all the screwdrivers you're gonna want, <laughs> ratchets and stuff like that, but we're always coming out with different stuff. So this one, this one's been a big hit for those shops, uh, my motor shops that rebuild motors and stuff like that. And then um, the motorcycle shop really likes them because they use them daily. Mm -hmm. But I mean, 1.2 pounds, it don't weigh anything. Right. You know, you're not picking up a die grinder like this and trying and it's been the comparison all week even though it's angled i know it's angled but you're talking about uh 3200 rpm 
54,000. Right. You know, I think that's the RPM on this thing. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. No? Uh, let me look let me look this up before I make myself like an idiot. Well, there. have you got any of the new purple stuff in you? I don't have any of the new stuff. I went to order it and it said part number not active, but I saw where some other distributors somehow got some in, so I don't know if I just did it wrong. I don't know how I ended up doing that. But it's that Matco conspiracy, man. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> they don't want you to get it first. Yeah. I I don't want you to have it where you can show it on video first and well, have and all it, the other distributors sell yeah. it. It may have been that uh, they were going to release it at Expo and it just it it slipped out. But uh, uh, I'm gonna stick with my theory. They're just <laughs> they're Matco blocking you, Michael. So this one's actually eighteen thousand. I don't know where I got thirty two hundred at. That one's actually eighteen thousand RPM. They're tired of my jokes about the colored colored ratchets and stuff. I did see where we were actually doing away with the yellow. So like the yellow impacts and um, well, it's usually air tools was all that was yellow, but yeah. we are doing away with the yellow. Uh, I guess that's to make room for the blue um, because I did see a, a thing that said blue's here to stay. Uh, I guess that's to make room for the blue um, because I did see a, a thing that said blue's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. so. Wow. Um, blue's going to be a full on color and I figure purple is right there behind it with them doing purple pry bars and purple ratchets um, I don't see it going anywhere either I don't see it being long before we got purple screwdrivers and stuff mm -hmm. um, I hope anyway because purple has been a big hit since we've been talking about it so. well that's good color sale man yeah it does color sale and that's you know i, I mentioned a while well, ago snap on proved that a long time ago right like everybody in the world had everything red and black snap on made well and then I, they I come out with colors and then everybody bought the same shit again i, I uh, to go past snap on i mean i agree with that but i think card manufacturers have proved that over time and time again because they don't make two color uh cars i mean yeah. they have a rainbow of cars so mm -hmm. um I'm glad to see that we're expanding our color. Uh, it does put more to stock, but I'm fine with that. I would much rather have the color that somebody wants because we, we talked about a while ago that a technician that's been in 10, 15 years, they have all the screwdrivers, ratchets, stuff they're going to need. The only thing that's going to make them buy another one is, a new color. hey, you know what? My favorite color is purple. Mm -hmm. I want those. Or blue. You know, blue was that way. Yeah. We had people that had the older screwdrivers of Mako uh, they didn't even have these handle style and you take these in there nope I've already got my screwdrivers don't need any more okay I understand you walk in there with blue hey blue's my favorite color yeah are well, you gonna trade these in no hell no I want to keep them uh, mm -hmm. but I want these too you know I'm good with that I, yep. I'm fine with selling them because they want that color um, I, I don't really know how I feel about getting rid of the yellow but I'm gonna say that's a sales thing we because we only went with it on the impact the air and the cordless and uh not even all the cordless had it so i, I think that it just the yellow never took off but it's going to be interesting anyway i uh, agree they they did i had a meeting um monday night um on preparing to get to expo um i know everybody's probably tired of hearing us saying we're getting ready to go to expo it is a pretty big business thing so we have to prepare for it and get ready but there is still some secrets that we don't know about that they're going to release, you know, release at the show. So um, they told us they couldn't tell us nothing. So we'll see what it actually is. But I'm looking forward to seeing what those are, seeing what new tools are there and stuff like that. So that'll be cool. Hopefully, it'll be something awesome. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be in the toolbox line this year because you know we've always it always kind of changes. Uh, we've had it to where it's in the cordless line. We've heard it to where it's in the toolbox line, uh, the scan tool line. It's like it, it jumps around on what's going to be pushed to, to go above and beyond. Um, if I had to guess, we're probably going to have uh, some change to our cordless line uh, at some point because we've had the new style. I say new, it was new then. We've had the new style for a little while, so I figure that's gonna change up a little bit. And uh, I figure it's about time they throw something in on the toolboxes where something changes or something like that. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But Well, the rumor is online that uh, 
they're kind of backing off on the Matco stuff because of the Milwaukee stuff. Now, I don't know. That's that's just, look, we all know how rumors are, right? Yeah, we, we so. all know how rumors are. Um, I can't I can't confirm or deny on that. We did get rid of a lot of the slow selling items, um, but now they've got a pre-order right now <coughs> for blue uh, three eighths and half inch impacts. Yeah. Um, so I don't see them pressuring um, to to start blue in those pre-selling those if we're going to completely back off. Uh, I think that it'll end up being more of a revamp. Of, okay this is what I don't see us getting away from Milwaukee at all just because it sells so quick that's everybody's got the batteries and everything else um, I've been proven wrong before um, but I think we'll stay we'll have a Maco line as well well there's you know there's a ton of rumors going around and I read a lot like man I I study tools you know <laughs> read a lot about tools and I heard there's gonna be some major changes at Matco from the top down that y'all gonna get to hear about like uh some folks is going out and some new folks is coming in so i, I have we'll no see. idea uh be interesting to see the outcome of that see what's true and what ain't true because i haven't you know really how read, rumors are yeah i haven't really read any of it so i don't know um if it is they're tight-lipped on it right now they haven't told us nothing um but we kind of find out at expo so well i mean i drive down next friday so I'll drive down and see what they tell me anyway. Well, I know the, uh, like I said, the, what I heard that Tim Gilmore is stepping down. Huh. And it's supposed to announce it at the thing. But like I say, I don't have any confirmation. And no dealers. There's no dealers told me this. And no Matco Michael has not told me this. Michael Michael that's, don't know nothing about it's, it. Uh, that's just what the word is, that that's what's happening. So I guess we'll see. It'll be. We'll find out. Interesting I, times. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about it, so um, I'll be just as surprised as everybody else. So. Well, you know how it is, Ted. It may be like, maybe Tim's going on vacation, and then it turned into he's leaving. But I have found out, if you've ever watched, so. um, now I'm only 31, so I'm not as old as, as some. I'm, I'm definitely not as young as most, but um, I watch Andy Griffith a bunch. And there's one episode in particular to where they're making fun of Aunt B and another lady because every time a story gets started, by the time it gets back, oh, yeah. it's totally Jeez. different. Yeah. Well, they turn the script and they do it to Andy and Barney. And, um, you know, a shoe salesman turns into a uh, uh, person coming down to see the talent. So everybody's going to buy shoes and letting their kids perform in front of him. And that just shows that by the time, you know, word mm -hmm. of mouth, if you can hear it from the first person, you exactly. probably got it right. right. Um, yeah. But by the time this went through all the channels, see, you don't have it. The story's nowhere close. Um, but I don't know. You know, I would it surprise me? Yeah, it would surprise me. Um, as long as we're going to bigger and better things, I'm always happy. You know. So. That's it. I guess we'll see. We'll know when you know. I guess. Yeah. So. We're gonna try to get some guys. I know the last couple of videos have been mostly talk. We're gonna to try to get some more tools in here. We just been trying to make room. You know, well, everybody understands like you need to clear out your old stuff so you can have room for new stuff. And well, and that's the big thing. You don't want stuff celebrating birthdays on here. Like if it's been on here for year, two years, and ain't sold, it needs to go. We need something on here that can that can sell. So we have sold down a bunch, um, and we're ready to buy heavy. We just we wanted to get the old stuff out, new stuff in. Uh, Five People don't to, realize it's tough every week to come up with something new. Five years in the making, 52 weeks in a year. Yeah, it's tough. There's not a new product every week. Yep. So, I mean, you know, you just have to kind of manufacture <laughs> something. So, it is time, what it is. A lot of times it's when we pull up, we walk back here and we're like, okay, uh, what have we talked about the most this week? Yeah. And a lot of times it's when we get on the truck, it's just shoot from the hip and no clue what's coming out. So, so there's actually been a couple of times to where either my mic wasn't on, something didn't go right on the, the camera, and oh no, we gotta we gotta start over. It's never the same video. Never, it's never. always different. Like if we stopped right now, when we walked off and we walked back on, it would be a different video. <laughs> like even the stuff I said about this would probably be, you different, know, the, yeah. the, the, the I, I mean the specs on it's gonna stay the same, yeah. um, but this is not a manufactured video. This ain't mm -hmm. something that we planned. This is, you know, 50, 
52 times a year, it's it's totally different every time. So. You know, it's usually Michael walks in the office door, we put the mics on him, turn the camera on, and go to work. That's like it. Nothing else. Just like every day, you know, anybody else. We, we walk out that front door, it's time to work till we come home. That's it. All right. Well, we're looking forward to the expo thing. So, you guys know there won't be a Matco video, obviously, next Friday because Michael's going to be driving the expo. So That's it. I didn't quit. There I you go. He didn't quit. I didn't he get ain't fired. going to work. So, and no, Matco didn't kidnap him and, <laughs> and hide him away for speaking speaking his mind. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take a finger click that button. See ya.